of milk before. Gets him ready. Looks like he's a little sleepy, so he did drink the milk. And and it's really just going to be Graham trying to keep Rashid out the whole time. So far, and Graham is just walking into normals. And chun -Li can do that. Oh my goodness. Oh, and look oh, and at that. He missed up the back fierce. Uh, he didn't expect Rashid to fly over, and that sometimes happens. Yeah, and uh, what did, does Rashid decide the flyover, or is no. it character specific? Uh, well, he could mash buttons to fly further, but the biggest thing is you just got to be aware. It's not hard to see. Gotcha. Slides out, cops out, because she's wearing the cop out outfit, you know? <laughs> the ill-fitting cop suit. <laughs> Ooh, good. Ooh, that's close. That's gonna Good be close. bird kick, and I like that he stayed in the air to avoid a mix-up for just a little bit longer mm -hmm. to last the tornado out. Uh, Deep can do it with air SPD, similarly. Good complete here. We got the corner set up. Let's see what's going on. And he's I, going for the... I don't like the... Uh-oh. Oh, he could, he's going to eat another mix-up. And Oh, Hard no. Hard crush counter. What so, do we got? Oh, he just took the overhead standing. I guess wow. he was trying to back He that. was trying to do something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whatever it was, you need to reevaluate that. It was it was not an optimal punish on the spinning bird kick, but he, he had the right read post. Yeah, it definitely wasn't optimal. He could have ended the round, but he went he opted for the hard knockdown. The number one thing that went for Phil there is that Graham walked into so many normals. Mm -hmm. And it had like half a stun bar worth of just walking in normals right at the start of the round. Mm -hmm. So if Graham stays a little more composed, he's gonna be able to uh, focus more on the Bad punch, punch game. So anytime you block that eagle spike or, or whatever it's called, that stupid wall jump from Rashid, Chun-Li, or most characters could get a free dash up into a full punish. Right, because Chun-Li's forward dash is, is very fast. Great anti-air on the legs, he's get his pressure started. Still pretty heavy in the neutral, not a lot of damage from both sides. Oh, and he goes for the throw instead, but you're saying low short combos, right? He could go, he could straight into Sam Strong. Oh, straight into Sam Minus Strong. Two. And look at Phil with his classic, let me make you guess. Balls to the walls. Graham sliding out again. All right, and kind of, you know, Chun-Li in her most comeback uh, ability right now, the, the Ooh, V-Trigger mode. Uh, he got kind of lucky there. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. Ooh, and a good read on the bird kick there. I'm surprised that Phil hasn't quite adjusted to that yet. Graham has gone to the EX bird as a Almost out. every time. Yeah, at least 70% of And the time. That's, that's really just a player read of Phil likes to press buttons on your wake up, and he's been very consistently correct on that. Mm -hmm. All right, round three. Let's see what happens here. Graham seems to get to get, kept it together that last round. And yeah, uh, he's he's really been calling uh, Phil to come to him in the last round, and it worked out a lot better. But right now, he's in the mixer. I'm glad Phil is showing that instant hurt legs is anti air Yes, a lot of people uh, they behave like it's not. <laughs> Again, uh, that's he's four for four, out. right? Three Great for three anti -air. For four. Puts him back in the corner. Oh, that could have been he some did, anti -air. He Put no pressure on him. He just let him out. He definitely expected probably another bird kick, but once someone jumps away, you have a lot of time to anti that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Ooh, I like the uh, oh, effect, oh. the special jump out through the tornado there. He had some wonky jump setups here. It did no. put him in the corner, though. Bad punish. Really negative on the sweep. Most characters can get a big punish. I know Rashid could. And Rashid chilling with the life lead. Oh, no anti our Big, heavy mid-range normal while Chun-Li was in the air. I and then the, he oh, bet. Oh, he could have killed. <laughs> yeah, he bet the farm, and there was such a minimal punish r right there. Could have just been crush counter, fierce legs. Both players show, exhibiting a bit of nerves going on. A right lot now. of nerves on both sides. There we go. We know that's negative. Yep. We know that's negative. Go for the easy punish. End the round. No need to overthink it. And now, if Chun didn't have the charge, is it jab on block into legs. left? And just yeah, like straight to legs. Yep. Just do it. Okay. All right, so now Marcos is up. All right. His very consistent issue tonight has been his anti -airs. I don't know if Graham's going to be jumping all over him. Chun, Chun Li's, you know, it's not It's not like he's going to be rod jumping. It's going to be mostly the mm -hmm. legs. So I want to see how Marcos is going to deal with the legs. Yes. Because he hasn't been dealing that well with the rod jumpings from other people. Mm -hmm. And Vega has a great answer to the legs. Uh, if you are smart and you're blocking low when you're expecting legs, you have a lot more time to react. You can do a crash for free. It just stuffs her. And because Chun Li kind of floats on the way down, it's going to give you a bit of extra mm -hmm. time for it too. And I, I'm not sure if this is correct, but I believe the crash for puts Vega at a little bit of a lower profile too. So it, it kind of just goes up there and steps. In. It looks like the hitbox of Low Fierce is significantly above Vega's vulnerable area. Yes, definitely. All right. Wait, as a good anti air should. All right. Let's see if let's Round see if Marcus one. could claw his way out of this. If he must. And I'm just wondering if he's going to be respecting Graham more than he's respected other players here. We've seen so many guesses with the slide. 
earlier today. I wonder what uh, like his respect level for Graham is going to be, or if he's just going to go in on him. So far, it looks like it's the complete opposite. Graham just showing no respect for this Vega right now. Heavy in the neutral again. Graham really close to the wall, though. And you Vega without the claw. He's liking the life lead he has. He's playing pretty... Yeah, good punish right there. Oh, jeez. Wow, it looks like he still is opting to go for the EX bird. That was so... Bad. Like, hard read. That was <laughs> like, just bad. <laughs> that was like, I literally hope you're doing exactly what I think you're doing. Not Which exactly a mix. never the case. Yeah, and in, if it's not a mix-up situation, it's so difficult to make that kind of hard read. Wow, slide for slide, two for two. Wake up legs. What a read. Ooh, and a bit of white life. Let's Graham get that heavy hitting. That's what you get for looking at me in the shower. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the classic uh, Street Fighter the movie, yep. the, the anime movie. Exactly. The one that my mom wouldn't let me watch until I was 18. <laughs> oh, she, for the she's, roundhouse likes. She's like, I read the reviews. You can't watch this movie. <laughs> You're not allowed to look at anime. Oh, really close to stun. Is he going to keep pressuring him? Of course he is. And he well, he's so close to that stun. You know, Graham oh. could have got the stun um, a lot earlier if he canceled that stomp into legs. Because That's it was a true. counter hit. Into EX legs, yeah. No, just uh, like oh. legs. Counter hit stomps into normal legs. All right. Legs, yep. All right, so that was a Worked quick 1-0. Quick 1-0, uh, Team Graham Rom versus DM. And what do you think went wrong for Marcus? I just feel like I just feel like he didn't have control of the neutral. When we see Vega doing really well, we just see less in general. There was, exactly. like you said, control in the neutral. I didn't see, uh, I didn't see Graham having a ton of control in the neutral. I just saw him either being aggressive or just keeping Marcos away. He just kept him out. Yeah, oh. he, he just kept him out in most situations. And then once he was in, he he, he played more aggressive on the knockdown. But when you see Vega doing really well and having a lot of control in the matchup, you just see less in general. Exactly. You're going to see that clock go down to 40, 30 seconds. Yeah, you see baited normals for the whiff punish. It's it's not a ton of forced situations. Something where both characters excel in the footsie range. Right. And in this game, you know, Vega does have a command grab. Vega has, you know, nice things he didn't have in 4 to allow him to be aggressive. But that's on top. It can't be the core game. Exactly. All right, fill back up. Let's see if he... Put some ice on his head. Cool yeah, exactly. He needs to cool down right now because Graham's got the read on him. Oh, just all right. Let me throw your dash. And once Graham has a meter, we're gonna and, and, and Phil gets the knockdown. We're gonna see if he's gonna be five for five on bird kicks again. Well, he looks like he hasn't put any ice on his head. He put, yeah. put some hot coals. You know, sometimes you have that read where he's like, "Hey, I punished him hard last time. There's no way he's going for it again." But. And then, yeah, sometimes that could be your downfall too. Eat the throw. Don't be. Oh goodness. Both players kind of just throwing it all out there. Yeah, it's like we sometimes we see that, you know, Phil escapes from the bird kick, but then we don't see the optimal punish, which is unfortunate to see. Mm -hmm. From both players, actually. Yeah, exactly. All right, Chun just doing her thing, stacking that white health, and she got it. Got about an extra 5% off of that. It's going to do some good damage right there. Gets the Oki. Ooh, I like that he went for the more positive Oki right there. I haven't seen Rashid players really go for that. Mm -hmm. He opted to end the, uh, the Twister tornado. first. Yeah, mm -hmm. Twister early. Minus two on that. Nice, nice. Patience. So if you want it, and if you know that it's going to kill, you just spin a little bit longer, get a few more hits in, but you're not going to get nearly the same setup. Oh, yeah, they land way before you were. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and there oh. we go. Is Graham going to eat some throws now? Phil has really established that he goes for the DP after that. Mm -hmm. It's either the throw or the DP, or the throw or the expert is what Graham seems to be going for. And that's one of Rasheed's strengths to force the <laughs> issue. Graham just shook his head. Graham shook his head so hard right there. <laughs> Graham is not happy. He can't believe it. I wouldn't be happy either. Oh, and we need more anti-airs from Phil right now. Okay, we oh, got characters. resets. I don't know, man. I don't know. They're doing some things. I mean, at the end of the night, if Phil wins it. <laughs> you got nobody to blame but you yourself. You have no one to blame. Great damage on that. Good convert. Oh, that's, is that going to That's going to hit. Oh, my goodness. And oh, he just, my goodness. I mean, why didn't he do what he did last time? What he did last time was... Ideal. He did the the ex eagle into the mixer, mm -hmm. but he went for some DP shenanigans. I think right his wires were a bit crossed. Yeah, he wasn't quite ready for that to hit. Yeah, he definitely didn't expect that that guess to really work out. He just kind of wanted Ooh. to block. Ooh, oh, double, double overhead. Double overhead. Throw a triple. Oh, 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 but no, he. You gotta see it. You gotta block it. He would have had the stun. Now it's really, now it's looking really grim. This is a scrappy, scrappy match right now. Chun has the neutral and she has a lot of V trigger left. Kind of slows it down a bit, burns her V-trigger a little. I, that's a lot of room he just gave Phil. I just feel like... I 
take the free neutral space. Mm -hmm. I prefer just walking back as opposed to jumping back. And it's like, you know, between you and the edge of his normals, that's the free space. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And it's how you bait with punishes, is you go to the free space. And even though they're in the neutral, they would have been in this situation in the middle rather than the corner now. Right, yes. And then look, Graham, giving up space, finds himself in the corner when they, he's, like you said, they would have been in the middle. Mm -hmm. Still a very close game. Uh, Phil with a lot of meter, Graham with absolutely no comeback. It's like Graham is completely avoiding the mid range and just hoping for Phil to make some exaggerated mistake. He's making all the right calls. This is Graham's round to lose. Yeah, totally. He's all in, he's in the right spot. It's just a, it takes it's gonna take a huge. Okay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's just no more words. He's in. Take the throw. You're not gonna lose from a throw, yeah. but you're gonna make, lose from a super. Make him throw you six times mm -hmm. because that is infinitely harder to pull off than the comeback that Phil was probably planning in his head. On top of that, as the aggressor, as somebody who gets that many throws in a row, you start mind freaking out yourself. Yeah, because you're just like, geez, I just got four throws in a row. I and this dude. Bird kicks. He's brave on the bird kick. Yep. It's just like letting your opponent, uh, opening yourself up to getting thrown six times, you're allowing such an insane comeback that it's probably not going to go down that way. But in Street Fighter V, one frame trap, hit confirm super, goodbye. See, uh, yeah, this game's unforgiving, man. Any really bad guess, like on a DP on wake up or invincible move, you get crush counter, lose 35%, nope. closer to the corner. 50% stun. And on top of that, Phil established such a DP Round after one. Frame Trap game that Graham probably was pretty concerned about the DP. Mm. I feel like Phil could have gotten four throws in a row right there. Ooh. Mark goes off to a hot start. Wow. Guess Let's see is what on he can do with it. Sweep. it can, can anyone stop this man yeah. on those sweeps? Well, both of these, this team, they fit so well with each other. They, just they like do. To press buttons. I wonder what their blood alcohol level is right now. But either of them. Probably pretty up there. Probably up there. That's why he's in a cop outfit. She needs to pull those guys over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, V trigger combos. Good damage. I feel like that Great was bait. mostly to get out. He could have killed. This, that's one thing that a lot of people aren't quite ready for yet. Ooh, and he stops the slide. No. Hit confirm after the V trigger cancel. Positive on that EX fireball. Great stand short. And a trade. Just take the trade. She was way too far for the first part of the legs to hit, giving you a lot of time to react. Round two. All right, round two. Wow, aggressive start from No Marcus. trip guard there on the sweep, unfortunately. It's actually really bad in this game to trip it's, guard for that. It's way harder, is it? Because mm -hmm. it happens sometimes, but I guess not like in four. Because it's very consistent in four. OK, there you go. Pops to go with the expert. See, there you go, the crouch fierce. Marcos like with great footsies right now. We're seeing more mid-range, and I like it. He needs to kind of slow it down a bit, though. Okay, okay, that was a great escape. Great escape out of the corner. He's got to keep Graham out, though, and a crush counter into nothing. Oh, oh, an anti-air. V-Trigger, such a consistent anti-air. Oh, Graham is just really trying to get that slide into V-Trigger. Oh, and another good read from Graham with the bird kick. No anti-air. <gasps> slide, there it is. I knew it. Graham's I told you. Graham's I played Chun Man. That's all I <laughs> Just keep mashing that. I have an extra big button for crouching medium punch. Sanfir is minus. What is this? We're seeing buttons. We're seeing mid-range. I'm seeing some Vega right now. It's a big change from Marcos. This is a big change because he clearly did not want to play like this, and it still ended up being a sweep. Oh, oh please. Terrible. Good punish. Unfortunate turn of events for Graham. He definitely wanted to get two jabs into Bird. And really, in this kind of footsie matchup, this life lead for Vega is very significant. Whoa. The weak punish again. Uh, it should have been Stan Roundhouse crush exactly, camera, yes? every time. Okay. Um, a lot of Vegas, a lot of people in general aren't quite sure on what they should do on blocking EX Bird. Get your crush counter punish. It's it's just because it's a lot faster than the other reversals that you bait in this game. You do have to be consistent. It's not a free DP punish, mm -hmm. but a consistent crush counter is gonna work. And Marcos definitely should not lose this round, but he is about to call me a liar. <laughs> oh, oh, Graham no. is coming in with everything, and one more hit confirm, and we're gonna be. Well, it's. Oh my goodness. <gasps> He bets it. Marcos, please. Safe on block. Oh, okay. and he gets it. That was pretty random. With the ST. <laughs> with the super turbo shenanigans. He should have won it uh, when he blocked the sweep. He could have got, I think, crouch jab into V trigger to get the roses just to get at the least. extra damage. Do we know the frames on the sweep? I could look it it's up. It's minus a lot. I know it, it's double it's digits. It's at least SPD able. Oh, double digits? Then yeah. there, there was plenty he could have done. Mm -hmm. Vega with more of the longer, or some of the longer range normals mm -hmm. in the game. Definitely easy. Can you go fierce right into legs without the crush counter? Say that again? Can you go fierce into legs without the crush counter? Chun Li's fierce? Yeah. Like back fierce? Yeah, just on, on the on the block of yeah. the sweep. Is that optimal? 
Well, you could do that. Usually I do my back pierce as a crush counter and as a free V trigger cancel, you get double state. Oh, okay, I see. Optimal would be uh, crush counter with stand roundhouse, dash up, low forward legs. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, the Vega Mirror. I haven't seen Realms Vega yet, but I've heard great things. I've heard a lot. Uh, he's, you know, he's still figuring out the character. It's funny because he's very hard on himself, but he oh, was beating boy. up a lot of folks at NCR. Oh, yeah, he was putting in work. I saw. And very, very solid. We're going to see a much slower Vega play from him. Oh, yeah. That's definitely. my guess. Marcos but if, if Marcos forces the issue, we're going to see a very scrappy match all over again. Mm -hmm. It seems to be that he is good at making his opponent do dumb decisions. Rom going for the wall jump right there. Yep, he's already in the corner. So Marcos has a lot going for him. He's already won half the battle. Yeah, in a footsie matchup like this, all you want to do is limit options. You're not even going for damage. The damage is just going to be a side effect. The damage comes once you get to the corner. Yeah. So far, just a really neutral heavy oh. match. First combo convert that we've seen from Rom. Oh, wow. Great Sweet reaction from him. Yeah, that was a great whiff punish right there. Went for the gimmick right there. Sheets his claw and then goes for the command throw. Cute thing a lot of Vegas can, go for. Can you only command throw without the claw, though? Yes. OK. You don't, that'd be cheap if you command throw with claw. I know, right? Look at these oh. converts. Pretty combos. Oh. Burns and the meter. He, and you know why? Because meter builds fast. Well, if, that and it's a best of one. If, yeah, and it's a best of one setting. He got the super in one round. And uh, it was the guaranteed kill. And any hit confirm from Marcos after that would have led to a very deadly situation. Smart decision. I agree with it. You know, a lot of people in Street Fighter 4, it was always very, it was a harder decision whether or not to burn the super. But in this game, you build it fast. And, uh, you spend it fast. And you spend it fast. You yeah. About four and a half bars a game. And Rom is on the hunt this round. Yeah, he's he, smelling blood. You could see him playing much more aggressive as opposed to the last round. Nice. Antire is baiting out throws here. Marco's opting to play patient, but giving up a lot of space. All right, and then super, good. He's going to build some meter before the end of the round. There you are. Look at this damage. It's an even match. Great damage. Slight lead for Marcos, too. Yep. Choosing to play the aggressor still. All right, and now he's in... He's in basically aggressive mode. Yeah, he took off the claw. He's ready to go in and get some command throws. You basically, you get faster normals, less range. Oh, he missed it. <gasps> On oh. trade. I've never seen that trade. That was actually kind of weird. Good hit confirm. One more guess for Rom. Went I like 50. He got himself out of the corner, too. <gasps> oh, no. Anybody's one, game. One this more for Marcos. Oh, and he went for the, the throw. But it, uh... The hit stun on the uh, jump roundhouse was too much. Um, so he tried Just, to grab He probably on. whiffed the throw, right? Exactly. Yep. I was going to say.